Doctor Who is a global juggernaut, and it's been around for so long now that it's managed to infiltrate every corner of the pop culture world. When Time Lords, Tardises and Daleks aren't popping up in video games or in movies, they're showing up in TV shows of all shapes and sizes. And we aren't just talking about shows that are within the Doctor Who universe. From hidden easter eggs to blatant homages, there are examples of this everywhere. So much so that there may be one snuck into your favourite TV show. So let's dive into some of the best Doctor Who nods from the wider TV world. With that in mind then, I'm Ellie with Who Culture and these are 10 times Doctor Who appeared in other TV shows. Number 10. South Park South Park has poked fun at just about everything under the sun in its decades-long run. So it's no surprise that Doctor Who once found itself caught in the crosshairs. In the season 15 episode Funny Bot, the Germans responded to being voted least funny people in the world by creating the titular machine, which starts off by telling a few decent jokes before eventually deciding to destroy the world so it can become the ultimate comedian. Now any Doctor Who fan watching this episode probably noticed that the Funny Bot is a clear riff on the Hooniverse's greatest foe, the Daleks. If its overall size and shape didn't give the game away, then the Dalek S voice and the frickin' plunger for an arm definitely did. And then there's the moment where it screams EXTERMINATE just to hammer home the parody a little bit further. Although Daleks telling jokes, now that's an idea Doctor Who should definitely steal. Number 9. The Vicar of Dibley Classic British sitcom The Vicar of Dibley ended in 2007 after just 20 episodes. This was in the middle of the 10th Doctor's era when Doctor Who's popularity was at one of the highest it's ever been. Which is probably why Dawn French and co decided to incorporate this bizarre reference into the Vicar's final outing. In that final outing, the Vicar gets married to the handsome Harry, but the wedding isn't an entirely smooth operation. The bride's white dress is ruined by a muddy puddle forcing her to attend the ceremony in her flowery pyjamas. It's not all doom and gloom, however, as the hilarious sight of Chief Bridesmaid Alice wearing a Tenth Doctor-inspired outfit, while also being flanked by two huge Daleks, instantly lifts the spirits in the room. In a previous episode, Alice had tried to incorporate Doctor Who into her own wedding, but unfortunately that didn't pan out. You know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, just use your friend's wedding instead. Number 8. Sherlock Considering Sherlock was created by Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatiss, it would almost be a crime if it didn't contain any Hooniverse connections. Fortunately then, it does. In the Series 4 episode The Lying Detective, some incredibly attentive viewers noticed something unusual resting on the mantelpiece right behind the magnifying glass. This probably flew over the heads of the vast majority of viewers, but for an in-the-loop minority, it was a really cool easter egg. That T symbol behind the magnifying glass is actually the logo of Torchwood, an organisation in the Doctor Who world that protects the Earth from alien threats. There have been many a fan theory that Sherlock and Doctor Who exist within the same universe, largely because of Moffat's involvement with both shows, but this only adds fuel to that fire. Number 7. DuckTales the 2017 reboot of DuckTales was something of a Doctor Who reunion. Not only did David Tennant voice the main character Scrooge McDuck, but Catherine Tate and Michelle Gomez also lent their voices to the show. What's more, showrunner Francisco Angones is a noted Whovian. And on top of bringing those Doctor Who stars over to DuckTales, he also included a more sneaky reference to the sci-fi juggernaut in the form of a time-travelling grandfather clock. In the short episode Meet Scrooge, Louis Duck notices said grandfather clock and starts fiddling with his arms, unaware that it's a time machine. This sends Scrooge through various points in history as he desperately tries to get the young lad to stop. Though casual viewers are probably unaware of the Doctor Who connection, aside from the obvious time travel element, Seasoned Who fans will recall that the Master once used a TARDIS disguised as a grandfather clock. Which, considering Angonis' love for Doctor Who, the DuckTales clock is surely a reference to. Number 6. Chelmsford 123 Obscure British comedy series Chelmsford 123 has mostly been forgotten about over the years. Although the fact that it has a terrific Doctor Who gag means that it will always exist in the back of some fans' minds. In the episode Arrivederci Roma, the show's first outing aired in March 1988, 
a totally random moment occurs when two men are pulling a cart through a field. It starts off when we hear one of the most iconic sound effects in pop culture, before the bloody TARDIS just materialises in the background of the shot. The doors then swing open and out steps the Doctor, hidden in silhouette but clearly meant to be Tom Baker's fourth, who looks around for a few seconds, steps back inside and dematerialises with the two men completely oblivious to what just happened. Quite how a Channel 4 show managed to get away with this is anyone's guess. But no matter how the TARDIS gag came to be, it's probably one of the best moments of Chelmsford 123's entire run. Number 5. Family Guy Family Guy has made numerous Doctor Who references over the years, from Peter losing his hand and claiming he can regenerate, to Brian stating that legislation of marijuana has sent Doctor Who ratings through the roof. But the best Hooniverse connection to come from the wacky mind of Seth MacFarlane can be found in the season 15 episode Inside Family Guy, which features David Tennant's return as the 10th Doctor in a short cutaway gag. At the start of this episode, the Griffin family is watching a TV show called Doctor Who Farted, in which the 10th Doctor arrives at the scene of an alien attack. His companion, a riff on Rose, runs up to him and tries to enter the TARDIS, but because the Doctor has caused a bit of a stink inside, he tries to waft the stench away before letting her in. Hearing Tennant's distinctive voice in such a ridiculous setup makes the whole thing ten times funnier, and it genuinely does make you wonder whether the TARDIS has a proper ventilation system. Number 4. Star Trek The Next Generation Star Trek and Doctor Who have crossed streams at several points most notably in a 2012 comic book story which saw Eleven and the Pons battle the Cybermen with the likes of Picard, Riker and Data. However, a link between the two sci-fi juggernauts that's far more easy to miss can be found in the season 1 finale of The Next Generation, in which a computer screen displays the names of the first six actors to play the Doctor. William Hartnell, Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, Tom Baker, Peter Davison and Colin Baker. Well actually, Davison's name is misspelt Davidson, which is strange considering how easy that would have been to fact check. But for some unknown reason, that particular screen was changed when The Next Generation was remastered in HD, meaning that you won't be able to find it on Blu-ray or Netflix or other similar services. Quite annoying considering how difficult it would be to see those names in standard definition. Maybe squint? Number 3. Community Much beloved sitcom Community is another show littered with Doctor Who nods. From the mention of K9 in Season 2's Critical Film Studies, to the TARDIS t-shirt worn by Abed in Season 4's Basic Human Anatomy. However, it's the ongoing gag of Inspector Space Time that people will remember the most. This fictional show, which exists as a real show within the community world, was first introduced in the Season 3 episode Biology 101, and follows the titular Inspector as he travels the universe in his red phone box. On top of parodying the Doctor and the TARDIS, Inspector Spacetime also pokes fun at the Daleks, with the Inspector's arch enemies the Blorgons resembling actual pepper pots, which, along with tin cans, rust buckets and annoying gits, is how Doctor Who fans have jokingly described the Daleks over the years. What's more, Inspector Spacetime clearly has that Doctor Who low budget factor. It's been on the air since the early 60s, and there are even conventions based around the show which several community characters attend. In other words, Inspector Spacetime seems to be fleshed out with surprising amount of detail. And considering that community creator Dan Harmon has a soft spot for Doctor Who, it seems that the gag came from a place of admiration. Number 2. The Haunting of Bly Manor Speaking of showrunners who have a soft spot for Doctor Who, Netflix horror king Mike Flanagan admitted that one of the main reasons that he cast Karen Gillan in his debut feature Oculus was because he loved her work as Amy Pond. Flash forward several years and his love for Doctor Who found its way into the costuming for his 2020 horror miniseries The Haunting of Blind Manor, although hilariously Flanagan didn't actually know this was happening. Instead it was actor Rahul Kohli who was responsible for this Doctor Who shout out, with his character wearing a bow tie jacket combo that looks almost identical to the costume worn by Matt Smith's 11th Doctor in the latter half of Series 7. On Twitter, Coley noted that he was aware of Flanagan's Doctor Who obsessions and so when it came time to decide on a costume for the character, he requested this look as an homage to one of his showrunner's favourite characters. Bly Manor also has another far more subtle and possibly unintentional Doctor Who reference, with a line in the final episode, 
You said it was a ghost story. It isn't. It's a love story. Sounding very similar to a line from the 11th Doctor episode, Hide. This isn't a ghost story. It's a love story. Coincidence? Well, taking Flanagan's Doctor Who credentials into account, there's a good chance it's not. Number 1. The Simpsons and Futurama The Simpsons has almost too many Doctor Who references to mention, with creator Matt Groening said to be a huge fan of the show. The first time the Hooniverse made the trip over to Springfield was in the Season 7 episode Sideshow Bob's Last Gleaming when Tom Baker's fourth Doctor is called in as part of the esteemed representatives of television. Since then, we've seen a TARDIS in Season 24's Love is a Many Splintered Thing, Daleks in Season 23's Holidays of Future Past, and even more Tom Baker in Season 10's Mared to the Mob, among a host of other winks and nods. Speaking of Tom Baker, he's also popped up in another graining verse show, Futurama, once in Season 6's Mobius Dick and again in Season 8's All the President's Heads, the latter episode rather grimly, also containing a disembodied head in a jar complete with the name label Amelia Pond, which obviously begs the question, what the hell happened to Rory? It speaks to the power and reach of Doctor Who that the makers of The Simpsons are genuine fans of the show. And since the animated classic is sure to stretch on until the end of the universe itself, there's sure to be tons more Doctor Who references to come. And that concludes our list. If there are any we forgot to mention, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. I've been Ellie with Who Culture, and in the words of River Song herself, goodbye, sweeties.